Okay, right now I'm at the Wiglow Center. Um, this used to be like the mall that we and my cousins used to go to for a lot of things uh, back in the day. And I haven't been back here in like 11 years. Um, I left my cousin with a friend. Uh, but first thing we did, we got some birdies. And first I'm gonna go have myself some Mayan. Which are like these um, triangular little things here. They're really good. Okay, now I'm at Walmart um, on a whim. <laughs> I don't really know what I have to look for here, but I just thought to check the place out. And, um, well, I came across this place selling all the crayons, and I thought, you know what? Let's see if they can find the elusive 100 piece Crayola pack. But no, sadly, they still don't have it. The farthest I have here is 6 to 4. So. Well, what do you know? I didn't find 100 pieces, but I did find 96. Look at that, 96 crayons. I'm kind of tempted to get it now. Okay, so I'm done with Walmart. I didn't really find anything there that's worth my time. Although the 96 Crayola set is, um, and, uh, you know, it's, I'm gonna be thinking about that for quite a long time. I didn't really find any DVD. I'll check out the DVD section, didn't really find anything there. Uh, and I'm on my way to Chapters, which is also close by and check out some books. I should have zoomed out. And yes, it's raining. So, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, the weather's not that bad. It's la like, like the last few days. So I'm inside chapters. Um, so the same thing I like most in the world, it's books. So I think I'm gonna go have fun here. And the one place I'm gonna go to it's of course the fantasy and science fiction section, well more the fantasy section really and I'm surprised to find they have like two rows of fantasy books in here and like one row, one, one big row of uh, science fiction books. Um, in particular here I'm interested in looking for Tad Williams' Memory Thorn and Sorrow books which I already found and um, I also saw like the, the Malazan Empire books, like all seven books are here, here of the Malazan Empire, all four books of Memory of Thorn and Sorrow, and I kind of got, I kind of want to get all of them. <laughs> Just don't have the budget for it. And uh, what else is here? Um, some collected editions of uh, David Edding's book, and surprisingly, not a lot of uh, Wheel of Time books. Probably because they sold very well. Yeah. So that's not that's not really a problem. Um, so it's just a matter of choosing which ones I'm actually gonna get. Because since I can't afford all of them, I mean I can afford all of them. I just that would leave me with like not a lot of money left for the rest of the the rest of my stay here, so I'm just gonna have to decide if I want to get them like right now or do whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm already loving it here. <laughs> just with those books, really. God, I wish I had a lot of money though. Okay, the next second place you're gonna find me at a bookstore is of course the graphics, the graphic novels section, and here I am. Chapters is a quite a nice selection of graphic novels, both from Marvel, DC, and some other people. And the one thing that I'm particularly interested in looking for is, let's go get it. This one right here. It's the graphic novels, uh, graphic novel of New Spring by Robert Jordan. So that's also part of my reason for coming here. And I found it. It's here. I have it. And it's what is it? It's almost 30 bucks, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not, I'm not likely to find this book like in the, in the Philippines anyway, so I'm good. Yeah. So I'm pretty much done with chapters. Um, I decided not to go buy the Malazan books since there's about 11 books there that I can't afford all of them. Well, I can, but like, yeah, like I said, I'm uh, leaving broke, and I don't know how I'm gonna bring all of them home. I did get like all the Memory Thorn and Sorrow books by Tad Williams, and the new Spring Graphic Novels, which about like the only thing I've been looking for. And yeah, so I'm on my way back to Woodgrove to meet with my cousin, possibly like go home and stuff. Um, yeah. Funny thing though, so like I bought four books and a graphic novel, and I pay for the stuff and, 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 and all, and they just hand it to me. 
So I'm like, can I ask for a plastic bag? And they're like, oh, they had to charge for plastic bags, which is good. You know, it's just that I, I, I wish it kind of just offered it to me and just offered it and then charged me for it because I, I won't be able to get all that stuff, you know. Um, people that were very helpful though, I mean, I asked, I mean, I, I saw the fantasy section and it was great, like all these selections. Not a lot of you have time books. I saw the science fiction section, it was great again. Um, but I'm not really interested in science fiction at all. So, then I started looking for New Spring, and then I just asked if they had like a graphic novel section, and if a uh, nice guy just asked me if, I had, if there was any particular one that I, that I was looking for, and I said, New Spring, graphic novel, and it takes me to this kiosk, this counter, and he just typed it in, and he searched it, and he found, he found it, and uh, he even told him where to, where to find it, the graphic novel section, so it took me there. So. I gave me a canvas bag because I had like four books in the graphic novel, novel to to carry while I'm still going around checking out books, so yeah. Right now I'm at Toys R Us and there's only absolutely one good reason why I would be here and it's to check out Superhero Squad to see if they have something I like. So yeah, um, I still can't find it though, let's see. It's so weird that I'm here. We have the, uh, the game zone right here. Right okay, behind so I'm you. here now at the, where, where the action figure section and it's really not much that interests me. Not a lot of uh, superhero squads anyway, so that's okay. We're at a quality foods doing groceries for tonight's dinner. This is so mundane, I shouldn't even be taking videos of it, but I am. Yeah. So there. <laughs> There you go. She's behind me. Minnie's behind me. What are you making again? Couscous. Couscous. And uh, the chicken is for? Some sort of chicken dish. Chicken asparagus. There you go. Okay, so here's another problem that I have. Um, I didn't bother to pack with shampoo for this trip. I thought I'd just buy them here. So I have like this really um, big bottle that I have at home. It is this, exactly. So I didn't bother bringing it here, so I thought I'd just buy for the next two weeks, unfortunately, they come, they all come in these sizes. And I don't really need that much for two weeks, now do I. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> okay, so in days when we don't go out to eat or do whatever, we just not really just hang out here at home, watch How I Met Your Mother, whatever show we have. I'm gonna eat with the cooking. Today she's cooking. Something with chicken. And asparagus. Not sure what it's called. Let's just asparagus. Make chicken stuffed with asparagus and cheese. There you go. Sounds good already. So yeah. That's pretty much life here. And now I'm gonna have... I'm gonna eat chicken. A baked chicken with asparagus. And I'm having it with Christmas. I saw healthy habits initiatives in schools. And disaster relief support. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it.